Hi guys, it's Andy from the Smotech UK. Today we're giving an unboxing and overview for iRox. This is their K10 Rock Series USB gaming keyboard. Okay, just before we get started guys, I want to say a massive thank you to iRox for sending the K10 out to me for this unboxing and overview. I'm a massive fan of the iRox range of products. They are new to the UK and I think they're going to do extremely well because their products are extremely well made and great value for money. Okay, so let's start with the box. We've got the iRox logo up at the top here. Uh, the branding of the Rock Series K10 right slap bang in the middle. With the left hand side you're able to see the actual font which we'll look at in a bit more detail on the keycaps. Down at the bottom here it says about the uh, it surpassing the quality of all membrane keyboards. On the right hand side we've got USB 3D keys, a simultaneous trigger, uh, USB gaming keyboard, 1000Hz polling rate, Windows lock key, Enki rollover, uh, POM guide sleeve, 3.8mm uh, keystroke and PBT, PBT keycaps and 30k uh, ghost over on with regards to its keys. So on the bottom here um, or on the side obviously we've got various different bits of branding um, and I see it's available in multiple different layouts depending on what uh, country you're from and again I see the branding there. So let's move on to the back of the actual box. Uh, we've got the unique POM guide sleeve design offers unprecedented keystroke feel, powerful N key rollover and 30 key simultaneous trigger function in USB mode, supports Windows and application keys disable function to avoid pressing the keys by accidentally uh, by accident during the game, plug and play connectivity, no driver required and also no software required. Onto some of the specification, we've got 1000 Hz on the polar rate, uh, key number 104 keys by language. And it mentions there about the keystroke and the key force, but I'll mention that um, a little bit later when we come on to the summary and tech specs. Uh, cable length 180 centimeter on the cable length, um, and it comes in weighing at 1.2 kilograms. So it's quite a heavy keyboard, uh, despite the fact that it's not a mechanical. So um, also it mentions here about the uh, POM plunger and PPT keycap design, which we'll take a closer look at. You're able to disable the Windows key, which is a good feature. I've uh, got cable grooves on the back for cable management, we've got a step sculpture type and also you've got your uh, ghost over keys on there, obviously 30 keys at a time can be pressed before it locks up. So let's now get into the actual box and have a closer look. Okay so I'm just going to pull the actual tab out. And you can see underneath here, uh, it's protected by this plastic sleeving on top, which is good. So we're just going to go in and remove that top section. And also remove the actual keyboard itself. It's quite a hefty keyboard. So I'm just going to close that back up. Okay, so the first thing you're going to notice, hopefully, is the, the actual font that's being used on the actual keycaps. It's quite an unusual, uh, sort. Of, I'm, I'm not even going to try and describe what it looks like, but it's quite an unusual different design on the actual font. Um, moving around the actual keyboard itself, we've got this red band that runs all the way around the outside. It's non-LED, um, but it just adds to the sort of overall look. Uh, and see the actual stepping sculpture there, so I see it's low down here and high up at the top. Um, up at the top here we have got uh, your num lock, scroll lock, caps lock and also your window lock key, which we'll take a closer look at. Um, and there's the actual back and that side there. With regards to its cable management, on the back also you have got three different options, three different channels, which is quite a standard thing. Um, you've got down on the side here, um, a large rubber feet uh, or rubber pad down here and a slightly smaller one up at the top here to obviously help with it uh, stopping from moving around. Like I've already mentioned, this is quite a weight behind the keyboard. You've also got the uh, keyboard riser here, which again feature rubber uh, tips on the bottom, which is quite a nice little feature actually. You don't normally see that. Let's now take a, a bit of a run through over the actual keys that are on here. Um, it's quite a basic standard layout. There's no macros, uh, there's no Windows media keys, there's no function keys or anything of that nature. Um, so it literally is just quite a basic simple looking keyboard. Um, however, I see it does feature the 30 key rollover, uh, a thousand hertz polling rate and I see their own individual um, separate membrane 
keycaps um, and design which we'll come on to in a second but overall it looks very nice um, it, it's quite a similar weight to the max keyboard um, that I had a, a review of a little bit earlier on in the channel very very similar in its design etc so let's look at the actual cable it's not braided unfortunately um, but it's quite a good length uh, so we've got a USB connector and we've got a little cable tie here to obviously control um, the, the actual cable if you do need to cable manage that so overall very nice first impressions of the actual keyboard um, with regards to its feel it it's a very unusual feel I, I'll tell you that now let's take a look at the actual keycaps okay so we've now got the keycaps removed here um, very nicely made very strong you're not going to have any problems with them breaking or bending or anything of that nature um, very nice little keycaps indeed but the thing to, to point out is obviously the fact that this is a membrane keyboard now so we've got individual switches on here um, which is something that is quite unusual and quite unique to the actual keyboard um, even just pressing these down they're very very tactile very responsive indeed um, and before I took the keycaps off, I did actually give this about half an hour's worth of gaming um, and also a bit of typing. I had to type a, a couple of emails up. Um, and the closest resemblance are probably the Cherry MX Blues. In fact, I, I would say that if you were to blindfold someone and stick this next to them, um, as well as a, a Cherry MX Blue keyboard to the right of them, you would struggle to actually tell the difference between this, which is a membrane keyboard, and a Cherry MX Blue mechanical keyboard. They're that similar in regards to uh, the actual response from the actual keys, the way that they feel, um, and obviously during gaming, etc., uh, the response time, etc. So, um, very, very impressed with the overall look, very impressed with these keycaps. It's a very, very unusual um, to have such a um, a sort of membrane keyboard that, that really wants to be a mechanical keyboard um, and with the price of this actual keyboard coming in at a very very respective price um, details on that will be available down below once it becomes available in the UK uh, but I have been told the rough estimate of the actual price and compared to a mechanical keyboard this is an absolute steal um, the other thing I want to point out as well is that we have got the iRox logo built in down here. This is uh, LED, which I'll connect up in a moment um, so that we can have a closer look. Um, but yeah, the, the keys on this are... It's very, very unusual. Um, and it takes a bit of time to get used, getting used to the fact that you haven't got a mechanical keyboard in your hand. So very, very impressed with that. Let's connect it up and have a look at the actual logo a moment. Okay, so that's now connected up. Um, I don't know if you can quite see that, but the iRox logo there actually glows on the actual spacebar. That's the only LED that you'll actually find um, on the actual keyboard itself. This isn't a singing, dancing, full of flashy lights or anything like that nature. It's um, basically a, a membrane keyboard that wants to be a mechanical keyboard, essentially. One thing as well to notice, um, if you want to disable the Windows lock key, you basically hold down the right and left and there you go, your Windows key is now actually disabled. If you uh, keep an eye out on that LED up at the top, just holding the keys down, off it goes, and on it goes. So it's quite an unusual way of actually disabling, disabling the Windows key, but very, very quick and very efficient. Okay, so on to my personal thoughts about the K10 Rock from iRox. The keyboard itself is really, really different. Um, and I say that because obviously it's a membrane keyboard. Um, it has the weight, the feel, the tactileness on the keys, um, and everything to me sort of shouts that this is a Cherry MX uh, mechanical keyboard, but it isn't. Yes, it is lacking some sort of probably key features in a way. It hasn't got any USB ports. It hasn't got any macro keys, uh, no illumination. So it's really, um, sort of quite a basic keyboard in that respect however mechanical keyboards are quite expensive this particular k10 keyboard is very very cheap indeed and an extremely good value for money if you're looking for that mechanical look mechanical feel but haven't got the price or your budget to uh, enable you to go and get a mechanical keyboard this really is a fantastic alternative for you 
It does feature a 30 key rollover, which is obviously good for gaming. Uh, the pull ranks a thousand uh, hertz as well, so it's really good. And you are also able to disable the Windows key. With regards to its weight and size and shape, like I've already mentioned, it does resemble a mechanical keyboard. There's no two ways about it. The weight is 1.2 kilograms, which is quite a hefty keyboard. The thick um, sort of base on the actual keyboard itself and the way that it rises up from the, the lower end, uh, from the bottom end up to the top of the, the actual um, sort of step sculpture um interface that it has it it literally does look and feel like a mechanical keyboard now i've been using this um for about a week week to a week and a half now uh playing various different games typing some emails doing uh, various other bits and pieces etc using it as my main keyboard for about a week and i must say i'm really really impressed with the actual build quality more than anything else it it Despite its price, it really is built to the highest quality. The keyboard doesn't move around when typing or, or playing games heavily. Uh, the keys are feel really good under your, your fingers and under your thumb. The key, um, the actual key switches respond very well. You've got a, quite a long stroke on there, very tactile. Um, and I've already mentioned that they feel very similar to the Cherry MX Blues. And this keyboard really is a pleasure to game with and also to use as your everyday keyboard. I like the iRox logo in the spacebar. I think that's really quite a nice little touch. Um, like I've already mentioned, it's not a singing, dancing keyboard. But just to have that little bit of illumination uh, from the actual keyboard looks really good indeed. Okay, so there we have it. So essentially, if you're looking for the uh, performance and feel of a mechanical keyboard without the price tag, the K10 from iRox is definitely the one for you. So we hope you liked this unboxing and overview for the iRox K10. Uh, we've got hopefully some more products coming through from them uh, to show you guys um, later on in, in the coming weeks and months. So we look forward to uh, seeing you in our next video. We hoped you liked our video review. If you did, then please leave a like as well as any comments or questions you may have down below. Full details and specifications on this item can be found at our website, nismotech.com, along with all the links for purchasing if you wish. Also on our site, you'll find our latest reviews and current giveaways, plus a lot more. We look forward to seeing you in our next review.